Could less be more when it comes to running? For your health tonight, Courtney Garish takes you barefoot running. Some runners are wearing no shoes at all, but is it safe? When Preston Curtis gets ready to run, there's one thing he doesn't do lace up his shoes. When I run barefoot, my feet feel really good. Preston is one of a growing group of runners pounding the pavement in their bare feet. It's a natural way of running. Some runners go completely barefoot. Others wear so-called minimalist shoes. Nothing more than a layer for abrasion resistance and something to hold it onto your foot. Orthopedic surgeons say ditching the extra cushioning causes most runners to switch up their steps. Typically, the barefoot runner lands with the front of the foot or the middle of the foot hitting the ground first. Many runners believe barefoot running actually helps prevent injury, even though they are exposed to problems other runners don't face. I've only had three tiny shards of glass. Um, get in my foot, and they've really caused no problem. Dr. Holly Johnson treats one to five barefoot runners a week. Often, they have stress fractures. Or a tendon problem that occur typically when the uh, patient is transitioning from shoe wear to no shoe wear. So if you'd like to kick off your shoes, don't hit the ground running. Ease into the style slowly. Preston started with a walk around the neighborhood and hasn't looked back. You feel like you're completely whole, with your body and your, your, everything's moving perfectly. There are barefoot running clinics and specialists, but do your homework because there are no certification requirements for these places. On your side, Courtney Garish, today's TMJ4.